Hi, Silver Assassin here. Now, if you're a subscriber to my channel or you've watched a couple of my videos, you'll know I'm a fan of Silver Coins and Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Today, we're going to look at some Silver Coins related to Assassin's Creed Odyssey. But before we do that, let's go back to the beginning when the game was simpler and it was about the Templars versus the Assassins. So we'll first look at a Templar related coin. This Templar's treasure coin has a more medieval vibe to it. The reverse of the coin has a traditional looking knight guarding what looks like the Ark of the Covenant. There's also some sealing wax on the coin. On the obverse, you've got a ship and you've got countries from the European continent made up of the Knights Templar symbol. Next, the arch enemies of the Templars, the Assassins. So on this coin we have three assassins with their blades and what looks like um, a castle behind them. Maybe it's the castle from Masaev in the first game. On the obverse you've got the queen and you've got this kind of traditional Arabic kind of geometrical pattern on the coin. We're now going to specifically look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey coins. Now be warned there will be spoilers as we will be looking at plots and characters from the game. So if you're in the process of playing the game, you might want to come back at a future date and watch this video. The game actually begins in 480 BC and you don't play as Alexios or Cassandra, you actually start the game playing off as King Leonidas in a recreation of the Battle of Thermopylae. One of the best coin releases from 2019, we see the king and his Spartan soldiers fighting against the Persians. The obverse shows a map of the conflict of Thermopylae. This coin shows the Spartan hoplites who were citizen soldiers of Sparta. They are usually armed with spears and shields. They were masters of the phalanx formation. But in this coin, we see a Spartan hoplite with his shield running towards danger, arrows flying past him. And behind him, you can see other soldiers and dead bodies all covered in blood. In fact, his sword has a bit of blood on it as well. As we fast forward 50 years, the Spartans are no longer fighting with the Persians, they are fighting against the Athenians in the Peloponnesian Wars. In Greek mythology, the owl represents or accompanies Athena, the virgin goddess of wisdom. The owl is also a symbol of knowledge and wisdom. The inscription AOE means of the Athenians. The design of this coin comes from the silver tetradrachm coin that was used for over a thousand years in the Greek world with little to no changes in design. The first coin is an affordable bullion coin that is also stackable. The coin is a reproduction of that coin that I just mentioned. Has the owl, has the AOE and the olive branch is a symbol of peace, reconciliation and victory. This coin is a more stylized version of the previous coin. It has an unusual shape, has a more antique look and feel and it also has a semi-precious stone for the olive. On the obvious you have a bust of Athena. When you begin your odyssey, you'll be accompanied in your journey by Icaros, your faithful eagle friend. Now when it comes to the world of silver coin collecting, there is no shortage of eagles when it comes to coin designs, the most famous silver coin on the planet arguably being the American silver eagle. However, when it comes in terms of aesthetics, I think I can do better than that. How about this super high relief coin? Just look at the detail on the talons on this one. Or what about this Australian wedge tail eagle from the designer of the American Silver Eagle? Or 
or these two amazingly detailed eagles from P. de Grief. Or what about a coin in the shape of an eagle? Pretty soon into the game, you'll come across a character called Marcos. And one of the decisions you'll have to make when you meet him is to pick a horse, Phobos, your trusted steed. Again, the world of silver coin collecting has no shortage of examples of horses. We have examples of Chinese lunar year horses from Treasures of Oz. And the Royal Mint. We now go mythical and treasures of ours again. And this time they give us Pegasus. And Unicorn, both of which can be found as skins for Phobos in the Assassin's Creed Odyssey game. We then next have two examples of Queen's Beast. First being the White Horse of Hanover. And one of the first releases, the Unicorn of Scotland. We next have the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse examples. We have the Black Horse. And we have the White Horse and Red Horse. Obviously there is one more which will be released later this year. However, if you can't wait that long, there is this coin that actually has all four horses on one coin. And the final horse related coin, it depicts the Trojan horse story. Now there is an actual story in uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey called Sacred Favours that um, depicts something similar to the Trojan horse story. Very soon into the game, you come across a character called Barnabas. You save him from Cyclops. Now, because he's in debt to you now, he allows you to use his ship, the Adrestria, for the rest of the game. This naval base coin depicts the Battle of Salamis. It also took place in 480 BC between the Greeks and the Persians. It resulted in a decisive victory for the outnumbered Greeks. The coin has a lot of detail, including a map of the actual conflict on the obvious side. As you travel across the Greek world, the biggest city you will come across is Athens. Athens is named after Athena, the goddess of knowledge and just war. This coin that you're looking at not only has Athena on it, but it also has Minerva, who is the Roman equivalent of Athena. This Imperial Arts series coin depicts the famous architecture of Greece, which includes buildings, statues and pillars that Greece is famous for. One of the common features you will notice when you travel around ancient Greece are the open air theatres. These theatres were renowned for their acoustics and aesthetics. Ha <laughs> I'll squish you like a bag! The final batch of silver coins we're going to look at today are related to the Olympics quest line. 
For the London 2012 Olympics, the Royal Mint created nearly 70 different coins. Don't worry, we're not going to look at all of them. The biggest batch of them were the 50p Olympic coins. There were about 29 of them. My very first YouTube video was related to these 29 coins. So if you're interested, go to video, select the oldest and have a look at my uh, production values from back then. In 2016, the Royal Mint followed up this um, series of coins with a 50p coin for the 2016 Olympics in Rio. And this year, they created another 50p coin for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics, which unfortunately won't be taking place um, this year now. And my final coins for today are the five ounce Pegasus coin, which looks very Greek, and the one kilogram Olympic coin also created for the London 2012 Olympics. If you have any suggestions for coins, specifically silver coins that I should have included in the video, leave them in the comments. The next episode of this series, we will look at some gods and monster related coins for Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Victory! Mickey! Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. The gods have looked kindly on these, our champions! But there can only be one winner! Sparta! Yours is eternal glory!